All right, hello guys. In this video, we're gonna be talking about what looks to be our next tropical storm that's coming to the Atlantic. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content. I do all sorts of tropical updates, just like this one, and also seasonal and monthly forecasts, which you might also be interested in. Right now, we're looking at the five-day outlook from NOAA as far as tropical weather is concerned, and you can see we do have our red area right here, which means we're over over 60% chance of development. We're actually at 70% chance here. Over the next five days, that is. After that, we have a higher chance of development. But this is headed right for Puerto Rico, and it is going to affect Puerto Rico. I'll talk more about that later in the video. But before I do, uh, also check out our links in the description and the pinned comment for our social medias, and also contact email if you ever need to contact me uh, directly. That would be the way to do it. Now, we're going to go ahead and move on to our satellite imagery, and you can see not looking too good here. Just some scattered thunderstorms all over the place. Not a lot going on here, but that is going to change a lot in the coming days. Trust me, we will be doing daily updates, and you will see this one is not going to look like this for very long. Now, here's your tropical intensity index, and you can see highly favorable conditions there. Just to the south and east of Puerto Rico, there's very favorable conditions, and I expect this storm to move into that area and develop quite nicely. It is going to move into highly unfavorable conditions where it won't really develop much, maybe even weaken a bit, but then it's going to head again into the red area, which is, again, highly favorable conditions in the southern Bahamas and north of Cuba, north of Haiti, north of the Dominican Republic, that area, and it's going to be intensifying greatly within that region. And then we're going to see what it does from there. The track is kind of uncertain from there. We're looking at our spaghetti models here. And you can see we are expecting it again to move into the area near Puerto Rico. And then north of there, which is where it's going to again reach those highly favorable conditions and start to develop more. Here's a closer look at another uh, spaghetti model plume here. And you can see it heads into the Puerto Rico or Dominican Republic area and affects them directly. If it heads into the Dominican Republic, those mountains could really tear things up. So the, that'll actually do a really good job at kind of weakening this storm. But if it doesn't hit that area directly, there's really no hope. And it's going to develop as much as it would like to as it's in the Atlantic Ocean heading into the area that's just east of Florida uh, in the Bahamas area. And it will do some nice development there. We're looking at our model intensity guidance. And you can see we're right at about 25 miles per hour. I doubt that it's that strong, but apparently it is. Even though there's not really a lot going on. There's just, again, scattered thunderstorms. We saw that earlier. So it looks, there's only about three models that don't have this enter tropical storm status. That's why I'm calling it our next tropical storm. Because it's almost certain And looking at the conditions available. Uh, I would bet money on the fact that this will at least become a tropical storm. And it looks to do so in the next 72 hours. And then about half the models have this one hitting Category 1 status within the next 108 hours. And then about three of them have it actually climbing to strong Category 3 status. So this is a very serious situation. It could become a major hurricane quite shortly over the next 132 hours, say. Uh, it could become a Category 3 hurricane by that point. Now... This is going to be it for this video, but stay tuned to my channel because there will be lots of updates on this storm as it develops, and there's lots of storms behind it, guys. Lots of systems heading off the hop of Africa into the Atlantic Ocean, and they're going to start developing. It's heading into August. This time of year, this stuff happens, and we're going to be tracking every single one of them, hopefully, for you guys on this channel. So subscribe if you haven't already for tropical updates as some of these could potentially impact the United States, and this one even has the chance of doing so. Anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoy this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Stay safe, guys.